Yes, I'm in Florida. And there's an elephant. So I'm in North Florida today, hiking in a, uh, an area near the Suwannee River. Um, just trying to find whatever I can. <laughs> it's overcast day, but it's hot and humid in February. And it rained a little out here. So there should be some salamanders under some of these logs and uh, maybe some snakes under the logs, we'll see. So, kind of look around. It's hidden in there, isn't it? It's down in there, isn't it? It's a little tiny guy. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's a little tiny sli slimy cell. Hey, when you're in Florida and you get a salamander, you gotta be happy. Cool. So today I'm on the coast for a little bit, checking things out. Uh, yesterday I only I only found the, the two slimy salamanders. That was it. That habitat. It was fun. Did a lot of hiking in there, but uh, didn't turn up anything. Today is a lot nicer day. There's some sun out, as you can see, and uh, we'll see if I can turn up anything today. Moving all through here. So this Clark Eye, Clark Eye. Mm -hmm. See, it's got blisters and stuff. Yeah. This Early is, spring. It's the plain salt marsh snake. In Central Florida, we got the mangrove salt marsh. And these guys really bold stripes. There's a yellow-bellied slider basking. Get dust out of them. White cedar. White cedar? This is not a juniper. White cedar. This is an eastern chicken turtle. One of the identifying features is striped pants, but this one has kind of disappeared on its butt, so. Usually you see them in the front too, in the front yeah. feet. Yeah, that's not really an identifying feature, but this is an adult female. Oh, getting a little grumpy there. These turtles tend to inhabit ephemeral, shallow wetlands. Uh, they move across land a lot from wetland to wetland. And uh, when a wetland will dry up, they'll either estivate or wander off, often crossing large distances across land to another pond. They eat a lot of crayfish, insects, tadpoles, the kind of stuff you'd find in, in temporary ephemeral wetlands. So today I'm in Southern Florida. Uh, 
of hanging out, going a couple different places, see what I can find. It's uh, pretty good conditions, so here we go. Got a DOR here, and I could tell a ways back that it's a racer. Pretty good size racer, too. Nice, there you go. A nice corn snake, except it's in shed. So, um, it's a shame. It would be really cool if it wasn't in shed. But, uh, pretty nice. Nice little corn snake there. Well, it's not really that. Maybe two and a half, three feet, if I was to pick it up. But I'm going to leave it alone and let it finish its shed. Get on my way. Now I'll just flip some of this junk. There's a corn snake there. Pretty nice one. So let's flip the rest of it and see if there's anything else. Here's a close up of the corn snake. I just flipped there. There was nothing else under that stuff. It was really nice. It's an interesting uh, coloration on this one compared to ones I get in Central Florida. This one's Southern Florida. So, so I put this guy back in the pile and move on. So here is a yellow rat or eastern rat. It's pretty cool. It's a rat snake day again. That's one thing in Florida, you're gonna see a lot of rat snakes. So I'm gonna get him across the road and uh, take off. Well, I'm out close to my house today looking around central Florida so bluebird skies kind of cool but it's gonna warm up to upper 60s so I'm just seeing what I can find What do we got here, Garrett? That's a Scarlet King snake. You know, I was talking about that Steve Christman paper with the corals. Oh, the size of the bands, number of bands, and how they relate to the proximity to coral snakes. Yeah. See, this one seems to have a lower band count, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. I know there's corals here, though. A little bit of embarrassing. How did he get his... Uh, data. That's I mean. <laughs> a lot of samples. It was <laughs> a lot of samples. But did he have to find coral snakes too? I'm not sure. He may have just <laughs> saw where there was some Patrick or. Yeah. That's, a, that's been a couple years since I read it. That's pretty cool. 